Greetings guys, it's Mr. J again, and I'm here with... Mr. Buffalo. And we're doing a special episode today. Yay! <laughs> it's been just about a month since this channel has started, and we're up to nine subscribers and almost 200 views in all. I think that's pretty good for a month. What do you think, Buffalo? I think it's pretty good too. Especially considering that one of our nine subscribers is me. <laughs> yeah, and it seems like when I post, not when I posted, well, when I posted, but when we did Cards Against Humanity, it seemed like our subscribers went, yeah. <laughs> and like doubled within a couple days' time. So those of you who are out there watching, we really appreciate it, and we really want you to keep on keeping. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, anyway, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> um, we hope to make this like a monthly thing. Yeah, so this is like a Q&A thing or whatever. Send us your questions via, I guess, comments in the videos or send me messages. I don't care. Just... Do it! <laughs> However you want to get the questions here. Yeah. I'm sure we can find a way to read them. Some way, somehow, somewhere. <laughs> Except Braille. I can't read Braille. Neither can I. And if you're watching my videos and you need Braille, I think you need help. <laughs> so, um, I guess we'll start off with the first question, which is probably the most basic question, is why did we choose scary games as our first thing? Well, that's a simple one. Got an answer for that, Buff? Uh, because they're sexier than regular games? Pretty much. They actually invoke a lot more emotion than most games I've played. And the other thing is, what do people like to see? Pokemon. That too. <laughs> <laughs> but they like to see people getting scared shitless. Yeah, jump scares for the win. So I figured that'd be a good way to start and then build it from there. We got a few more games lined up for next month. More scary games, a Pokemon game or two, and of course, everyone's favorite, Cards Against Humanity. Yeah. Woo! Actually, we tried a Pokemon playthrough. It just don't mention that. technical difficulties. <laughs> Shut up. Forced us to go back, and we have to redo it. And when we do this Pokemon, it's not going to be just you know we're playing Pokemon. It's going to be a freaking Nuzlocke. Yeah. Gotta make it interesting. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, um, next question would probably be, what do we like and what do we don't like? Sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and start off as, I like a lot of things. <laughs> but the main things I like the most are two specific characters. Batman, because, you know, it's fucking Batman. Yeah, enough said. Enough said. And a character I grew up with my whole life, which my room has got quite a little bit of it, is Godzilla. <laughs> Even though Buff don't like dinosaurs. No. Fuck you. <laughs> dinosaurs are gay. Fuck you. He'll kick your ass. So those are the two main things I like. What I don't like is when people, well, you know, let's just... Put it this way. I don't like Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> <laughs> and the new one looks disappointing. Oh, God. Yeah. And I grew up with pretty much Godzilla, Dragon Ball Z, Batman, Naruto. Well, not really Naruto, but Yu-Gi-Oh. I pretty much just grew up watching anime <laughs> and a bunch of comic book Animation, you know, like Batman, Superman, Spider Man, of course, I was X Men, X Men, fuck X Men, man. Oh yeah, X Men was the shit, man. Oh yeah. Uh, good times. <laughs> but Justice League. Oh fucking Justice League! How could I forget that? <laughs> um. Yeah. So, and when I say I don't like Dragon Ball Evolution. The reason I don't like it is because the origins of it are just so screwed up. I mean, Goku was... How old was he? Like, 18 or something? Yeah. I mean... And he's in school. Yeah. It's fucking... We all know Goku didn't go to school. 
no shit. The only thing he knew was how to fight. That was it. He was not educated at all. No. It's pretty much and go where there. Was and where was Krillin? Yeah, like, where was Krillin? <laughs> I didn't really actually think about that till now. Where the fuck was Krillin? <laughs> I didn't think about it till now either. And, you know, I did like James Masters as Piccolo. I thought he did a decent Piccolo for what it was. Everyone else kind of just like, eh. It wasn't a bad character. It was bad design. It was and a bad direction. I guess it wasn't bad portrayal. It was bad character, bad design. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, going back to Goku, he grew up in the woods, lived with his grandpa, and the other thing in the movie is his grandpa died by Piccolo. No. Goku trampled his damn grandpa. <laughs> When he became Uzuru, or the Great Ape, as we mostly know him. And that would have been more of an interesting story, as, you know, Goku finds out his grandpa got trampled by some giant ape, and he goes to try and find the ape to beat him. Wouldn't that make more sense? I mean, then we introduce Piccolo during the... Oh, that movie was just so bad. Not mentioning, you know... The whole idea of Chi-Chi was... She didn't know jack shit about martial arts until... Wait, if they're if they're bringing back most of the same people, that means that we last saw Piccolo defeated, and then in this one he's going to be good. Supposedly. I mean, that's how it goes in the storyline. Well, I know, but they were still enemies, and then he took Gohan and trained him, but then they jumped straight from Dragon Ball to fighting the Saiyans, and Piccolo's yeah. good. Well, not from straight from Dragon Ball. The very end of Dragon Ball, they did the World Tournament, where... Piccolo Jr. fought Goku. Yeah, but I'm talking the movies. They're going straight from Dragon Ball to Piccolo being good now. Instead of going through all that stuff where he... I don't know. They might. I don't know. I mean, it, that was the whole thing. Piccolo and Dragon Ball should have died. And he should have, you know, spit out Piccolo Jr., who is the Piccolo everyone knows about. Mm -hmm. But, God, that movie is just irritating. It irritates me. But on the plus side, Emmy Rossum's hot. Well, you know, can't go wrong there. <laughs> but enough about that. What do you like, Buff? Oh, you know, just the basics. <laughs> Batman, Flash, pretty much most DC stuff. But don't get me wrong, I like Marvel too, especially the movies. The movies are really good. That's just more on the DC side. Um... Which you can't go wrong with Dragon Ball Z, Yu-Gi-Oh! Not really the Pokemon anime, but the games, those are cool. Because Ash sucks, but you know, whatever. <laughs> and, uh... I know it's probably not a very popular thing, but I I didn't mind GX. I mean, it sucks compared to Yu-Gi-Oh! And then... 5Ds. I really liked 5Ds. It was actually kind of nice. Yeah, I kind of I mean, liked the it motorcycle too. thing was dumb, but the story behind <laughs> it was kind of cool. Car games on motorcycles. <laughs> and I have to say, my favorite character from 5Ds was Jack. He was just a badass. I think everybody likes Jack. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you said it was cool. I, I, I liked Crow up until the point that they changed his voice, and I was like, no, I, I don't like you anymore. Pretty much. You gotta be pretty aware of fan-based voice actors and whatnot. I mean, I really can't see anyone else playing Goku. Oh, God, no. Other than Sean Chamel, and I can't see anyone else playing Piccolo or Vegeta as Chris Sabat. I mean, can't go wrong there. <laughs> it's like a holy duo there. Pretty much. <laughs> Although, in the it, uh, Battle of Gods, they changed Bulma's voice. I kind of noticed that. It was I mean, like, it wasn't bad, but... Yeah. I mean, I, I went into it knowing they were changing the voice, yeah. so I was watching out for it. I mean, Dragon Ball Z Kai or whatever. Oh, God. We don't talk about that. Uh, it's a thing. Let's just say it's a thing. <laughs> I think we need to make a list of things we don't talk about. <laughs> Kai, Crystal Skull, those are kind of up top tier things we refuse to talk about. <laughs> So if you have any questions next month regarding those two things, we will ignore them. <laughs> or we'll just say, they suck. End of discussion. End of discussion. <laughs> um, 
I don't know what else to really talk about. Anything? Um, kind of like game series. Do you like? Game series? I mean, I know you're more PlayStation where I'm Xbox. I mean, I don't yeah. Anything against the PlayStation. I grew up with one, but then I switched. But. But the thing with me is, I grew up with a fucking NES. Yeah. Pretty much a lot of people grew up with an NES. I grew up with a Sega. Fuck you. <laughs> I had a Sega Genesis. Yeah. So I grew up with Sonic. Sonic. Fucking Sonic. <laughs> so I grew up playing, you know. Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, oh, yeah. bas- the basics, and I really got into Legend of Zelda. Oh, yeah. And from then, it went from NES straight to the Nintendo 64. So pretty much most of my childhood, I've been Nintendo. And I played the shit out of the Rare games. They were the best. Oh, yeah. oh God. I still hold to this day my favorite N64 game is Donkey Kong 64. Oh, God, that is... The shit. Donkey Kong 64 is the shit. Like for Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> just, you know, just like. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever I, your reason for liking, just like. Yeah. I grew up with Donkey Kong, most of the rarer games, but I love Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. They were the best. Along with Donkey Kong. I mean, honestly, in my view, Rare made up most of my Nintendo 64 days. Conquer, you know, Donkey Kong, Banjo-Kazooie, fucking Perfect Dark. I mean, they were the games. Then it wasn't shortly after that I got a GameCube because I knew knew The Legend of Zelda coming out, and I knew there was a Smash Bros. coming out. I grew up with Smash Bros. too. Oh, yeah. um, and I got that, and after that, my aunt gave me a PlayStation 2. Maybe it did. The first game I got was Metal Gear. And I be, after, since then, I became a Metal Gear nut. <laughs> I got a fucking Raiden statue behind Buff. Well, acting figure. Yeah, he's kind of laying down. He's kind of laying he's down. He's laying down <laughs> on the job. I'm looking forward to getting some more snake statues, but, you know, <laughs> it's Metal Gear. Which I can't wait for the next one. Ugh! So I grew up with uh, PlayStation, Metal Gear, played a couple Resident Evils. Grand Theft Auto. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. And I played that shit out of San Andreas. Oh, yeah. I, I had that, too. I still have my original copy that still has the hot coffee mod. <laughs> GameStop won't even take it anymore. I can't return it. I can't do anything with it other than maybe eBay, but I want to keep it now. Especially now it's, <clears throat> you know, kind of a rarity anymore. Yeah. Too bad it's not new. Yeah, I know. <laughs> then you go for the big bucks. Yeah, fucking. What was it? Grand Theft Auto. Dragon Ball Z games. Can't go wrong with those. I think I played a couple of the Batman, like Rise of Shinsu or whatever the fuck it was. A couple Batman games. And then. I think the next system for me was PlayStation 3, which I got mainly because of Metal Gear. Because at the time, guys, Metal Gear was strictly. Sony was PlayStation Sony, and that's one of the reasons why I kept going for PlayStation because of Metal Gear. Well, but they had switched because they'd started on Nintendo. Well, they did one game. Metal, Metal Gear was Nintendo, and then when the PlayStation was coming out, that's when they switched over and did Metal yeah, Gear. Yeah, but you gotta think <clears throat> during the, that time that was the NES days. Yeah, and that's all there was was the NES. Yeah, that's why they went over. Yeah, and then... I mean, you could say every game. Came from the NES. Sonic came from the NES. Um, Pac Man came from. Even the PlayStation came about because of the NES. Yeah. Everything. Even the Xbox came out of the NES. And don't try and argue with me. If it wasn't for the NES, there would be no Xbox, uh, Wii's, or PlayStation, blah, blah, blah. And you know that's true. <laughs> but anyway. What was I saying? <laughs> Something about, a, yeah, PlayStation. That's why I was more PlayStation-oriented was because of Metal Gear. I played some of the CODs on there, even though they weren't exclusive. Yeah. I mean, my first COD game was actually in the PlayStation 2 era, which was, I think, um... Oh, what was it? I can't remember. 
I mean, it was one of the World War II ones before the advanced warfare crap came out. I mean, I played COD 4, you know, Modern Warfare. I liked it. But then the little kids came. Mm -hmm. The little 13-year-old sitting on there going, I just kicked your ass! I just kicked your ass! I just got so tired of that shit. I just, like, oh, you thanks for ruining this game for me. Because, you know, that's what really COD 4 was during that time, was multiplayer. And that was what was so fun. And some of you are probably still play, still playing those games. Hey, that's good for you. I should just stop playing them, because how many of them that have came out since then? Yeah, well, they do one every year. I know. And I I still haven't fully played Call of Duty Ghosts. I haven't even really touched it. And there's already Advanced Warfare out. Yeah. I pretty much like, I'm done with Call of Duty. <laughs> They're doing the whole... Uh, rock band thing or guitar hero every fucking like what was it six months there for a while yeah guitar hero one guitar hero two guitar hero three rock band rock this rock that it was just so over done i am proud to say i got into guitar hero from guitar hero one i had a friend who had it and we played the shit out of that and we waited until guitar hero two came out on my birthday and i went out and spent all my birthday money on buying <laughs> guitar hero two and then I bought another one because I wanted another guitar. And then I ended up taking the game back to GameStop. But... Yeah. I, I had a friend who played uh, Guitar Hero 2 and we played the shit out of that too. It was fun. I mean, don't get me wrong. Guitar Hero was fun. But when you... How many fucking games? I don't know. Yeah. It's probably one of the reasons why I don't like Mario anymore. Because there's so many of them. Mario is over in over 200 different games. Pretty much. And so, and like, was it like 80 to maybe 90% of them are him, himself? Yeah. yeah. Whereas I'm rather play, you know, I'd rather play Luigi's Mansion. I'd rather play something with Luigi in it instead. Yeah, I was, I was like Luigi better. I'd rather play Wario. I'd rather play Lu Waluigi. I'd rather play Bowser. <laughs> you get so tired of these things. Ah. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, there goes that rant. <laughs> But yeah, I've been playing games all my life. He's been playing games all his life. Oh yeah. Like and I said, I had a I had a Genesis grown up, which means I got blood in my Mortal Kombat games. <laughs> and uh Sonic. Uh then we went straight from that to uh PlayStation when those came out. And I never really got into it just because I played the demo, but I had a demo for Final Fantasy VII, which I played the shit out of and I've just never I mean, I like RPGs, but I've never really played Final Fantasy. They're all right. Um, I had, had my Game Boy growing up, had my Pokemon games oh, yeah, up until Gen 3. So, yes, people on the internet, I'm a Gen 1-er. <laughs> hey, don't worry. Gen, Gen 2 is the best, still hold that, but Gen 3 is amazing. This one. Yeah. Hoenn region, yeah, all for it. It took me a while to get into it, but I love it. Um, admittedly, I was actually one of those who skipped every other generation. <laughs> I played one, three, and then I played, what was it, five? Yeah, and so you told me you still haven't played four, which no. you're not missing much. But. Yeah, well, that's what I heard. <laughs> it wasn't until, like, maybe a couple of years ago that I actually go out and buy, like, silver. And I did Soul Silver, not the original, because mm -hmm. I, you know, kind of wanted the more updated version. Yeah, I had gold. I loved it. Yeah, that's all they had at GameStop. Loved every bit of it. I had five full days put into that. And then it <laughs> fucking crashed a couple of years ago. And I was so disappointed. Um, let's see. So I went from PlayStation 1 to PlayStation 2. I'm big into like Madden. At the time, I was big into like the NASCAR games too. But I don't really play those anymore. Still play Madden, although not, not this new one. Madden 15 sucks. Um, then I had friends in junior high and high school, I had a friend, the guy who had Guitar Hero had an Xbox and he had Halo, and I was always over there, he's like, hey, we should play Halo, we should play Halo, I was like, no, I don't want to play it, so finally I was like, okay, fine, we'll, we'll play it, see what's so fabulous about this Halo game you keep talking about, and then I played it, and I was like, holy shit, <laughs> this game is awesome, and, uh, Bought 360 right when it came out. Um, unfortunately, the second shipment, so it was like two weeks after everyone got the first yeah. ones. Uh, but I've been on Halo since then, you know, Xbox. <clears throat> um, 
I think the only, I mean, I've played like Black Ops and stuff with my brother. Mm -hmm. And other than that, the only thing I've ever played is I played Modern Warfare 2. I bought that for a while and I had that for like two or three weeks and I took it back. I don't like COD. Yeah. I don't like it at all. I I used to <clears throat> like it. I uh, got real big into Assassin's Creed for quite a while. I I missed out on the first one. I kept asking people, you know, I want a game to play. Should I, should I get this? It looks pretty good. And everyone's like, no, it's good, but it's not good enough to buy. It's something you'd want to rent or like borrow. So I borrowed it from a friend, and he's like, he told me the same thing. Oh yeah, he's like, you can borrow it. He's like, I, I liked it, but it wasn't that good. So then I played it, and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck everyone's talking about. This game is awesome. Mm -hmm. So I have all of them. Two. Brotherhood, Revelations. I had three, and then I returned it because three sucked. But I, I have it downloaded on my Xbox now, and then I have Black Flag 2. Mm -hmm. but, I, but I don't have the first one. And I absolutely, with a passion, love Mass Effect. I am like on my 10th playthrough of Mass Effect right now. <laughs> yeah, I never played a Mass Effect. I did play the the ask the, the ask grade games. <laughs> yeah. I played one. I understand what people are talking about. You know, you know, it's not that. Well, big. yeah, it was super repetitive. I mean, it's go in, listen to these people's conversations, come back, and I'll give you a mission. Yeah, and pretty it was much. Always that, but it, it was and it didn't have very much replay value. No, but it was. It was something so different, different yeah. from what everything else that was out there and now those are like cod we got to have a new one every year and it's just like i mean i know unity looks good and whatever the 316 ps3 mm -hmm. one is looks pretty good but i don't know uh, i mean i loved one and then i got into two two was really good mm -hmm. i liked i loved the renaissance oh yeah what was that no it wasn't the Renaissance. Yeah. It, was, it was the renaissance yes yeah. it was the medievals that was the number one yeah, the they were on the Crusades. Crusades, yeah, the Crusades. And then the Renaissance, and, I, then, and then there was um, Brotherhood. Brotherhood, which I liked because I liked having a bunch of assassins around me but, killing everybody. Yeah, Brotherhood, hands down the best one. But I love the story that takes place in the Ezio saga. Yeah, and then there came Revelations. When I played it, it was just like I'm playing Brotherhood again. Yeah, and it's like. I didn't, and then I'm happy I did not buy it. I borrowed it from a friend. Uh, I like it. I think it's the same fucking thing over yeah. and over from, but, you know, I like Ezio. Yeah, but I like that one because you can play as Ezio and Altair. True. I, I will admit it is kind of nice, but the problem is it's like you have to wait to play Altair. Yeah. Kind of sucks. And then there was Assassin's Creed 3, which... When it first came out, and I saw, oh my god, it's going to be the freaking revolution. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. It's right. I'm going to be a fucking Indian. I'm going to be doing Indian things. Yeah. And then... Climbing through trees will be awesome, and you can climb through, like, two of them, and they take you in the wrong fucking direction. And yeah. It was... Uh, it was just boring. I, I played it for, like, two or three weeks straight, and I got to a certain point in the story, and I was just like, I don't want to play this anymore. It's just... Oh. I mean, I got freaking what's his name Connor's statue over there, and um, you know I bought the limited edition, whatever the hell it was, with the metal case. Yeah, with metal case. I I have that. I I got the metal the, with the fucking uh, <laughs> with the belt I, buckle. I got the metal case for like five bucks when I pre-ordered it, and then when I bought it, of course they give you the regular case, and I switched into the metal one, and then when I went to take it back, I was like, no, we're gonna keep the metal case. We'll take back the regular shit. Yeah. Oh, and I love Borderlands. I haven't pl I haven't got a chance to play the pre sequel yet, mainly because I'm poor now. Because <laughs> I used to buy games all the time before I moved out on my own and got a girlfriend. <laughs> but one and two. Money. Yeah. One and two. Oh, love them. Yeah, I ought to. I need to just take some time and play them when I'm not like. You know, uploading, downloading, doing this. <laughs> I mean, it really is kind of hard to take care of a YouTube channel. And I respect, you know, you know the big timers who've been doing it for years. Mm -hmm. I really respect them for it. But back on the topic of uh, Assassin's Creed, then when Black Flag came out, I loved it. Main reason, the naval warfare. Uh, see, 
And that's what pushed me away from three was as soon as I got to the ship and I was like, oh, this would be cool. And it was like, I don't, this is stupid. It's all clunky and nasty. And I mean, I know they cleaned it up in Black Flag and I haven't actually played it. I have it, but I haven't played it. I don't know. Just the whole thing of being a pirate doesn't appeal well, to me. The thing is, I, I love the Pirates of the Caribbean. You see, I don't like those either. <laughs> I don't like Johnny Depp. Yeah. I don't like Johnny Depp in anything. <laughs> but I, I did like the Pirates of the Caribbean. One of the reasons why it's appealed to me a little more. And I love blowing shit up, blowing... That just, it was fun. Whoa. Shut up. <laughs> um, and then, of course, you know, the Unity came out. And I just, I didn't feel Unity. I really didn't. I really didn't feel like I'd felt Black Flag or the, the other ones. But... Maybe I'll give it a shot. Someone will bo- let me borrow or whatever. Who knows? And then, of course, I want to play Borderlands. But again, YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um, and that's another I, thing. I still have to get around sometime to playing uh, Arkham Origins. Origins. <laughs> yeah, I got the box. <laughs> I got the fucking box with the Nightfall pack and everything. Because I, when I, I had a PS3 for a while, and I needed a game to play, so I went out and rented. Arkham Asylum because I was just giving back into my comics and Batman and stuff and I played it and I was like this game is fucking awesome and it is. Arkham City was coming out and I was like oh this game's gonna be better and it was and uh, I just I think the one thing that turned me off with Origins is the voice changing I mean I've heard it's good it's at least not bad but uh, I just haven't got around to playing it yeah Again, I mean, I'm poor and can't go out and buy it. <laughs> and the Arkham series is good. It is really good. I loved Arkham Asylum. It was, like, so different. Mm-hmm. And then when Arkham City came out, the controls were so much smoother and easier. It just, like, it just was better. Mm-hmm. No spoilers, but I wasn't happy with the ending. Why is that, Mr. J? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> and then Arkham Origins, it's confusing in a way because you know i was okay with the voice acting but the gadgets is like these gadgets are better in a way than arkham city but this is a prequel so it's like you need to lead up to these gadgets have like maybe a misfire of the gadget or like a prototype or something i mean you get the double super line jump or whatever in arkham city and it says oh this is just a prototype remember Blah, blah, blah. And then we go to Arkham Origins where he's using it. Yeah. I mean, it's a fun thing. You know, flying through the air, gliding through the air, doing the whole zipline jump. I mean, I don't really... I can't really imagine Arkham Origins without it. Because that's kind of where the direction that his games went. Yeah. But again, it's a prequel. <laughs> well, it's, that always got me for, like, the Halo games. It's like, I mean, I know it's it's all process of development and the games come after. But, I mean... And, in the story, it's, you know, one, two, three, four, but it's just like every time you get this different weapon, it, you know, it's better than this one that you had before, but it kind of does something different. And then, then Reach came out, and, you know, the last Bungie one that they made, and you got weapons that were, it happens way, right before Halo 1, but you got weapons that are way better than they had in Halo 1. It's like, this, this doesn't make any sense. Why didn't they have this gun? Yeah. Uh, the, whole, the whole development thing, and you want to keep it interesting. Yeah, but... You gotta be... Linear. Linear, yeah. That's a real key thing. Uh, and I, I really can't wait for Batman Arkham Knight. Oh my god! Batmobile, guys! <laughs> Batmobile! Enough said! I want to almost pay the 200 some bucks just to get the Batmobile thing. <laughs> but I'm like... Oh, that's 200 bucks, dude! Yeah. I mean, I can't shell out cash like that anymore. I used to, every game that I wanted to come out, I was like, collector's edition, we'll throw down the cash. Yeah. I got the big dragon statue for Skyrim. <laughs> I got, for Reach, I have the statue that come with it with all five of the Spartans. I got uh, Borderlands 2 collector's edition. It's got the bobblehead and Mass Effect 3. I got, you know, strategy guides that they ask for some of these games. And it's just... Oh, God, I remember the old strategy guides from the Nintendo Power. Yeah. Oh, God, I still got some of those over there somewhere. <laughs> um, 
And that's kind of what happened with me was I got into the limited edition because of the Batman Arkham series. Was when I got back in Batman Arkham Asylum, I didn't know about the limited edition Batman statue and it looked awesome. Oh, I have that. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> and it came with, uh, what was it, Year One, I think? The DVD of Year yeah. One? Yeah. And I was like so pissed off because I think it was like a week after the limited edition I couldn't get it anymore or something <laughs> like that. I was so pissed. I was like, I'm going to be checking on games I like, you know, the games I'm going to I'm going to be checking for limited editions for everything. Yeah. I want that fucking Batman statue. Yeah, you go in as soon as you can. You put $5 down to pre-order and you go in every week. And like, collectors, you, is there a collector's one? Yeah. you know about it yet? Are you doing that? And I got the collector's edition of Batman, 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 that, yeah. Batman, 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 Batman Arkham Origins. And I got the damn Joker thing. I mean, I like Joker. I mean, Hello, <laughs> but it's not very cool. I mean, here I'll grab it real quick. It's a little dusty. I mean, first thoughts. What do you think? Um, kind of plain. I mean, yeah, it, it's big, and he's in there, but it, there's nothing else. Yeah, I mean, he's. I'll put up a picture for you guys. I'll probably be putting up a lot of pictures when editing this. <laughs> But it's pretty much Joker, he's sitting there slouched over with a knife and a cutting board. And it's basically from the scene where Bane throws in Batman, if you remember that theatrical trailer. No idea. Well, Bane throws in Batman and Joker's like, you know, he's cutting up his fruitcake there and he's basically laughing at the Batman, getting all pissy. And it's the same scene with the whole um tvs behind him and the cash on the table i mean it's it looks cool but i kind of wanted more of a batman statue than a joker statue or if i had a joker statue i'd rather him standing up in a pose yeah i mean it looks cool and all but i s still so pissed about the whole batman statue thing I mean, it's nice that in the back it actually lights up i ain't gonna fucking light it up because it it's a piece of shit light up. <laughs> it really is. It's a piece of shit. I was like, oh, I paid this much for that. Mm -hmm. And then you got the extra stuff. Um, the supposed to look like a detective case or whatever. You got Crocs tooth and some case <laughs> files. I mean, it's cool and all, but statue. Yeah, it's what I want. <clears throat> I'm still so pissed about that. I mean, Connor statue looks cool and all, but <clears throat> I got the Jack in the Box. Assassin's Creed 2 or Brotherhood, whichever one that one came out. I think 2. It's got the Jester in it, so I think I think two. it was Brotherhood. It might be, I don't remember. But I'm, I have that. Because I don't... Key broke. <laughs> My brother was hiding something in it and went to open it up and the key broke off inside it. I mean, I could still open it, but... Still, it the key broke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, God, we've been going on for about 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, we've been talking about this and that. I guess... We'll do some cutting and editing. It'll be fun. I don't know. I kind of want to keep this long for them to get to know us. Well, I mean, take out the pauses at least. Yeah. Some I mean, of the crap. But... Mm -hmm. Don't look like there's too many pauses. Well, anyway, um, again, we want to thank you guys a lot for your support. And, you know... Tell your friends. Exactly. All of them. We want to keep going, and we'd like to play with you guys. We want to stay in contact with you. Please leave comments and everything. Talk with us. Blah, blah, blah. But on a side note, I want to add, he mentioned earlier about you know Marvel and DC. I think we're both in the same boat here. I love DC um, animated shorts and the animated shows. I love DC animated everything. I love DC comics. I love DC games. But I hate the live-action movies. Yeah. Well, I shouldn't say hate. They just kind of suck. They're letdowns. They're letdowns. And the whole Christopher Nolan's, Nolan series. I mean, people are probably going to get pissed with me, but it was too realistic. Mm -hmm. We had a discussion about this the other day. That they're good movies. They're not good Batman movies. They're not good DC comic movies. Yeah. I mean, uh, that, but I feel that way with a lot of things. Like, I'm sure a lot of you out there like the Harry Potter movies. They are good movies. They are not good Harry Potter movies. And I'm going to kind of dispute that just a little bit. 
I like the first couple. Yeah, the first two. The first one, one was super accurate. Two, two you're supposed to hate just because you're supposed to hate the book. Two, three is my favorite. And that's when they started screwing things up. And then they decided to go all dark for four and on. And they were changing things left and right and revealing things at the beginning that are supposed to come at the end. Yeah. And I was just like, I, I've watched them all. And, and I just, they're not good Harry Potter movies because they're not accurate at all. They yeah. keep the basic story, and the, especially Order of the Phoenix, they keep the basic story and they fucking change everything yeah. else to make I, it what they thought was going to be good. I got confused in Order of the Phoenix after a while. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. And I'll be honest, I like the original, the first couple movies and the books better than the rest of them because it kind of got kind of wonky after a while, yeah. including the books. Yeah, but you gotta expect that. I mean, she had to develop it with yeah. the whole wizards and yeah. I mean, some stuff is way out there, but and, and I liked Harry Potter and everything. I never played the games either. Have you? I had the first game for my PlayStation Two. And I played the shit out of it. And then I had the second game for my Game Boy. And it wasn't nearly as good, but... Yeah, I, I never played the game. I don't I don't know why. I, they just didn't appeal to me as games. Well, and they're movie-based games. Yeah. If it had been based off the book, it would probably have been better. But... Yeah. And I have a big like thing against movie-based games. I think most people do. Yeah, most people do. I like the Spider-Mans. I like the first one. It was pretty good. I love going around as Goblin when you beat the game. It was it was really fun for me. Second one was really good because you could explore all of New York and whatnot. But I hated the second one because the story was so fucked up. Yeah. I mean, I liked playing, um, what was it, the Spectacular Spider-Man or something like that? Or I think that's what it was. I don't know. I don't know. If I ever find it. I've only played a couple of them, and they weren't the movie ones. Um. (laughs) My brother and I had one grown up we played the shit out of. um, For the regular PlayStation, it had Electro in it as the main guy, and it was cool. And Then he ended up getting one that was based off the... I think Ultimate Spider Man. That's what comic. I was. That's what I was talking about. Where it's all comic-y. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I like that one. I hated the story with Venom though. Yeah. Mainly because it wasn't really Venom. It was a biologically engineered symbiote from Earth. Yeah. Using I think, what was it? Peter Parker's dad. What was it? Henry or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember his father's name anymore. And it was just like. No, Venom's from fucking outer space, mm-hmm. and he wasn't so much a bad guy, he just wanted the symbiote itself, yeah. just attached to Spider-Man, and it kind of made Spider-Man go a little wonky. I mean, I had I liked him, and then, you know, Eddie Brock was so pissed with Spider-Man, because he fucked with Spider- Spider-Man, fucked with his life, and yeah. Venom hated Spider-Man because, you know, it got rid of him, Yeah, or it. That's the whole story with Venom. That's... Should be it. Oh, I'm fucking Venom in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another thing we're gonna talk about. Spider-Man three. Shut up. <laughs> <clears throat> and I do like the Amazing Spider-Man's s- to a point. Yes. But what I hate is it seems like they're playing more off of the Ultimate Universe, and I personally hate the Ultimate Universe. What I like them up to a point. What I hate is uh, Andrew Garfield being a bitch <laughs> who can't act for shit because he can't change his face okay. or his voice. And that... killing Emma Stone was just—you don't do that. It's like killing Harrison Ford. You don't do that. Um. Well, she had to die. She had to die. Gwen Stacy had to die. <laughs> you could have just killed Peter Parker and got the little Mexican guy. If he... Oh, God. That's the ultimate timeline. <laughs> See? It would have worked. Ugh. <laughs> I, hate, ugh, I hate the ultimate timeline. I don't want that timeline. But um, what I hated about him is 
He was a pretty good Spider-Man. Would you admit? Better than Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. Yes, when he had the mask on, and you couldn't see his face, and there was mostly just CGI because he'd done all clips and stuff, and you knew it wasn't him, but the voiceover was good. He, yeah. He did that well. He had the attitude of Spider-Man I expect from him. Yes. Now, as Tobey Maguire, I thought he was a really good Peter Parker. Yeah. The, but he the, sucks as Spider-Man. He was the timid... Kind of nerdy, sciencey, yeah. nerdy guy. I mean, that's how Peter should be. Yeah. And that's what I didn't like about Garfield is he was he wasn't timid. No. He actually picked on Flash in a way. He was a dick. He was a yeah. He was a dick. He was a skater punk. Yeah. It's just like nothing against skater punks or anything, but you gotta stick to origins. I mean, that's what made Spider Man so. Amazing, pun intended, (laughs) is he was, because Spider-Man and Parker were too similar. Yeah. I mean, that's, you gotta have a difference between the character and the, I mean, the mask and the identity or whatever. I mean, that's why I like... Speaking of similar in the masks and stuff, I saw a picture the other day, it was Superman... You know, I had a picture of Clark and then Superman. And it was like, oh, worst disguise ever? Nuh-uh. And then it showed a picture of uh, uh, He-Man and whatever the hell his regular name is. Yeah. Where he doesn't change at all except he puts on different clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and no one knows that he's He-Man. Well, that's fucking He-Man. <laughs> yeah. And just F- FYI, we like Superman, but we also hate Superman. Yeah. Fuck the Boy Scout, man. I mean, I like the whole kind of Boy Scout thing in a way. I like the idea of Superman. Yeah. But my biggest problem is he's a fucking god. Yeah. You can't... Especially in the new ones. Yeah. I actually just watched Throne of Atlantis the other day. He gets his ass beat and turns around like nothing happened. And there was nowhere near where he could heal and he was fighting against magic and... Yeah, and... uh, Nothing seems to do anything to him anymore. Yeah. I, mean, I understand he's supposed to be the man without limits and blah blah blah, but you kind of have to give him limits, otherwise he gets uninteresting. Why do you think I like Batman the most of every DC comic character? He's got no powers, and yet he can do amazing things with his brain and his gadgets. It's kind of why I like the Flash too. I mean, he does have the speed and everything, but I mean he—that's he all he the, really got, though. Yeah, and but he is still that brainy guy. Yeah. I mean, think about it. How many powers has Superman has? Had or has or whatever. Mm -hmm. He's had just about every one of them under the sun. Hasn't he? Oh, pretty much. See, strength, flying, heat vision. Ice vision. Ice 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 breath. breath, Super breath. Where he can basically make tornadoes. Yeah. Uh, Super speed. Yeah. And flight and... There's way too many. I mean, and he's got the healing factor. Yeah, even the tank in the Marvel Universe, Wolverine, he just has the one power. Well, two. Well, sort of. He's got claws and healing. I mean, and he keeps fucking coming. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> I mean, actually, the real tank, I'd say, would probably be Hulk. Probably, but even Hulk, I mean, he doesn't... He, he just has strength and... He, he has some speed, but he's so big that it doesn't... Yeah. You know. He's got strength speed is what it is. Yeah. It's muscle speed. And with him, he's got the biggest crutch of all when he's not the Hulk. Yeah. You could easily kill him, even right. though there are times like... like in, I think one of the movies... Um, yeah, in the Avengers, he said he tried to put a bullet in yeah. his mouth and the Hulk spit it out. Yeah. Which, the idea of that is awesome. I mean... Not suicide, but the idea of the whole thing <laughs> coming through and being like, not today. Not today, bitch. But the thing is, you can kill, um, what's his name again? Bruce. Bruce. I think in the other one, it's, the original, it wasn't Bruce. I think it was, um. This, in the comics, I think it's always been Bruce. In the TV show, it was David? Or David, something? yes. It was David. Yes, David so, Banner. Yeah, in the who TV was, show, it was. Who was 
that's another one we probably ain't going to speak of after this is The Hulk. Yeah. David Banner was the father, which I thought was kind of, eh, you know, kind of a tribute in a way, but then what okay, they... Okay, well then if we're going to if we're gonna bring that shit up, we're not going to talk about Electra or Daredevil either. You mean Electro, new Electro? No, Electra. Electra! Uh, I thought you said Electro, I was like, yeah, okay. I'll give Daredevil a passing grade. Oh no. No, I was so hyped for Daredevil. Oh no. And well, it came out and I was like, what is this crap? But I said passing. I didn't say anything about being good. Yeah, but a passing is still at least 60%. I couldn't even give it that much. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it that much just because, you know, it is Daredevil. And I think the only reason from this point on we'll ever mention anything about Daredevil is just because Asfleck playing Batman. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And if that goes well, we will talk about him. But if that movie tanks, we will never talk about that ever again. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it, but I'm fearing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of following the whole Dark Knight Returns thing. Which, I love that. That movie was awesome. He only likes it because Batman beats the shit out of Superman. <laughs> no, that was an added bonus. I watched... <laughs> I, I was excited when the first part came out, and I watched that, and I was like, yeah, this is pretty cool, you know? Nothing really happened, but it was still, it was a cool story. Yeah. And then the second one comes out, and they have the whole thing with the city losing power, and Batman leads them all, you know, yeah. to it, and it's like, oh, yeah, and then the showdown with Superman, and just beating the shit out of him. Um, the way that he did, I mean... And he did it in typical... He didn't even do it in typical Batman fashion, I guess, because he did have help. Yeah. From a one-armed green arrow who still <laughs> was managed to shoot an arrow at Superman. Green arrow, man. Watch, this, watch the movie... Uh, not the movie, the TV series. Watch Gotham. Watch Flash. Flash watch Arrow. Even Smallville. Smallville was awesome. I, I mean, didn't get into it till after it was already done, but it was, yeah, it was I, awesome. I kept, like... Jabbing him and jabbing, watch it, watch it, watch it. And then, uh, I guess Supergirl's getting ready to come out. Uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know either, but it might be good. And there might, there's been talk of a Nightwing one now, too. Mm. And it better be fucking Dick Grayson. Oh, yeah. Because there have been rumors that it's actually, I think it started from the Smallville comics when Smallville TV show ended. They actually continued, like, I think the 13th or 14th season. I can't remember which one it was. Yeah. And they continued it, and they actually brought in Batman, which was like, oh, come on! Really? Yeah. And it was Batman and Nightwing, and it was, a, I think it was a female Nightwing. And it, was, it wasn't it was Robin. It should I think it should have been Robin and not Nightwing female. It might have been Batwoman. She looks no, it was Nightwing. They, her name so, was Nightwing. It's like because I know the Batwoman now looks a lot like the Nightwing now. Yeah, but it red, which yeah. I don't like that they changed him from blue to red. Uh, but I did finally understand why they did it. Okay. Well, so Robin, Robin in the series now, Damien, mm -hmm. red. Mm -hmm. Batgirl has red, or well, not Batgirl. Batwoman has red. Red Robin, Tim Drake. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason Todd. Red Hood. So then the only natural thing was to make Nightwing also have some kind of red. That way all of the Robins together would have something I to guess. do with red. I, I prefer blue. Oh yeah. Because, me, I, cause I think, don't like it, but I understand now. Yeah. I mean, it makes more sense with Nightwing. It'd be more of a nighter color, which is yeah. blue. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. We're comic book geeks. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why you guys love us. I hope so. <laughs> Not just because we're playing scary things. But well, that, if, that helps. If that is your only reason, we will still keep playing scary things to continue to love us. Yes. Love us. Appreciate us. Please. We just want your attention. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, speaking of, you know, Batman Superman, we both watched The Man of Steel. Mm-hmm. I like it because it's more of a darker tone on oh, the... Oh, yeah. And that's what I was looking forward to because I, with Nolan making the Dark Knight trilogy so dark, I was like, Nolan doing Superman? We're, we're in for some good shit. And personally, I think he did, he did a better job making Superman dark than he did Batman. 
too dark. Yes. I mean, Batman was just too dark. Yes. Um, what I don't like was what happened to Zod. Yes. Spoilers alert! He snaps Zod's neck. Which is retarded. That's the one thing I, I like about Superman that I still keep going to Superman for is he never kills. Yeah. Just like Batman. He, That's his one thing he really shares in common with Batman is that he will take it up to that point, but he will not kill. Yeah, I mean, he'll beat the living crap out of you. He'll put you in the hospital for years, but he won't kill. I mean... And I did see a thing where it's like, oh, you killed thousands of people by having that battle throughout the city, and you saved four people from getting hit by laser vision by snapping the bad guy's neck. Yeah. I mean... And the thing is, if it was really the Superman I thought of, what is envisioned in my mind, he would have either somehow went in front of the beam himself, yes. or covered it with his hand and let it go right through his hand. Well, not really go through his hand, but yeah, he burn would, his hand. He would take the hit. I mean, how many times have you seen in the comics Superman taking the hit for just about anything? And Yeah, he gets up and he's fine, but he takes the bullet. Yeah. That's why I liked... Uh... Superman versus the Elite. Because they gave the yeah. illusion that he went crazy and was killing them all off. And I was like, whoa, this Superman's really dark. And then, spoilers, at the end, he's like, I actually didn't kill him. I had my Superman robots save him before you know they actually died. Yeah. And I was like, that is exactly what he would do. Yeah. What I loved about it, he felt so crazy. I loved it. But when his fucking eye... He gets bloodshot eye. eye. He's got that bloodshot eye, and he's just like, mm, <laughs> "That was so cool." Oh, uh, I was like, "Yes, this is a, the Superman one." I was disappointed in was the one with Brainiac. He oh. just took care of Brainiac too easily. Yeah, I mean, Brainiac. I don't know. I Man, granted, Brainiac is like that hermit guy who doesn't really leave his ship. Yeah, he can avoid it. But to put him in mud and he like short it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he. I just watched Throne of Atlantis the other day too, and that one sucked. You already mentioned that. I thought I did, but I couldn't remember. <laughs> I just wanted to say it again, it sucked. Yeah, what we're really looking forward to is Son of Batman. No, Batman versus Batman, Batman versus Robin. We already seen Son, Son of Batman. Batman. Son of Batman means? was good. It was good, though. I'm a little. E on the whole Deathstroke scenario. Yeah. And on the Raish Al Ghul. And it's Raish Al Ghul, Christopher Nolan, not Roz. Not Christopher Nolan and the people at Arrow. It's not Roz, it's yeah. Raish. Because, and I'll explain this for you people right now Ra is Egyptian, Raish is Middle Eastern. Yes. He is Middle Eastern. He's Middle Eastern. Even though they're close by what, a couple thousand miles? <laughs> or I think so, I think it's a couple hundred miles, a couple hundred thousand miles. Well, no. I don't know. We'll look it up later. <laughs> I mean, Egypt's right there where it connects into. But Egypt's actually in. But it's on the Mediterranean, so it all yeah. But isn't right Egypt there. in Africa? Africa? Yeah, but. But it's got that land bridge that connects. Yeah. It. But either way, it's Aish Al Ghul. Which means, come on, the devil, demon head. Yeah, demon head. I knew it had something to do with that. Yeah. They call him that. The head demon of the demon head, basically. And I love Rich Hall. <laughs> of course, I love a lot of Batman yeah, characters. Liam Neeson. Neeson did a good job for what was given to him. Neeson does a good job at everything. Pretty much. <laughs> That's probably why, in my opinion. It was all downhill from there. Yeah. We wa I watched um, The Dark Knight, you know. I liked it. It was a great movie and everything. But the more I watched, the more I didn't like it. Which was the opposite with Batman Begins. Yes. When I first watched Batman Begins, I was like, this movie is terrible. It sucks. The old ones are better. And then the more... Every time I see Batman Begins... I appreciate it more and I like it more. Yeah. Whereas I don't even watch The Dark Knight now because that's all they play on TV and... And rises. Ugh. We don't talk about that. 
we will talk about just a little bit, but after <laughs> this, we're done. Oh, yes. We don't talk about prices. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, what I didn't like about Dark Knight Rises is that was not Joker. Joker is not, I mean, he's dark, but he's happy. Yes. He's demented, happy, outgoing. I mean, he's just his his most famous line: "Why so serious?" should have been directed at himself. Yeah, and he was too serious. He was just, and then the lip thing. I actually I understand the lip thing because it was the makeup that they put on a ledger, and he just couldn't help himself, and which kind of adds to the character. But again, that was not a good Joker, and I've been almost castrized because of this. <laughs> I've because they said he's so good, he's the best Joker ever. He's better than. Then, uh, fucking Nicholson and what's his face? Uh, the Cesar Romero. I mean, it's like, that's not Joker. Have you watched Batman animated series? Have you read the comics? He's outgoing. It's ha ha. I mean, he's over the top. He never takes anything seriously. Even his plans, when they backfire and screw up in his face, he sits there and laughs about it. He's fucking nuts. Yeah. He's out there, outgoing. I mean, the best person so far to portray him, of course, is Mark, Mark Hamill. Hamill. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say that, uh, oh God, what's his name? Uh, Bender. Uh, damn it! <laughs> Why can't I think of his name? I know. He's Bender and he's Jake in Adventure Time. Anyway, he did a very good job in Under the Red Hood, which, that and Flashpoint, my favorite anime yeah. DC. So. And... And that was a dark Joker in Under the Red Hood. Yes. That is, I think the darkest he can be is like... Is that. Is he's still, Arkham and that. Yeah, because he's still dark, but he's... Over the top laughing. Yes. He's crazy laughing. Yes. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still do think Dark Knight is a good movie and everything, but god dang, it's... Joker sucked. <laughs> he wasn't Joker. He, he was a good... Villain for that movie, I mean he, he did... was a good Joker for that movie yeah. in that in that universe of Batman now, but if you took him and put him in any other of the yeah. Batman universes, he he wouldn't hold up. Yeah, he, he just ah, uh. and now for the black sheep, <laughs> Bane. Bane, and I've been castrated. Bane is Mexican. God damn it! And I've been ca- almost castrated for this too. It was like whoa. You don't like this Bane. Well, what about the Bane and Batman uh, Forever? Uh, Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin. Sorry. Forgive me. But Batman and Robin, he was stupid. And he was basically just a no-go-head. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, well, you know what? He looked like Bane. Yeah. He had the whole Venom thing going on. He grew bigger. He had yeah. he had everything going but his brains, it's, which is the exact opposite of... If you put the two together... That's Bane. And he doesn't have either one's weird voice. If he had a Mexican-sounding voice, a Spanish voice, yeah. that would be big. I mean, that whole mask thing was... It's just like... Did you ever see the original... You trailer? can't hear him. You yeah. can't hear him. And you're like, what? <laughs> I watched six minutes of that, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Not that I watched the movie, I, mean, I saw it on... Tom Hardy, I think he's a good actor. Oh, yeah. I, Inception, he's in Inception. Inception's one of my favorite movies. Yeah. And, I mean, the, it just get me. Bane's... What is he known for? The Venom. The Venom. The Venom. And he gets bigger and fucking hulks out pretty much. Mm-hmm. You did not see that movie. I mean, he was strong. He was busting through concretes, but that was only because he couldn't feel pain. Yeah. Don't mix venom with pain pills. <laughs> yeah. I think. Mean, uh. But I think. I think. I mean, we don't really. Christian Bale. <laughs> yeah. He but the one bright spot in all of those movies, Gary Oldman. Yeah. He was a good commissioner. He's good in everything. Good Gordon. He's a good Gordon. Good Gordon. Good serious black. He was awesome in The Fifth Element. I mean, everything yeah. I've seen him in, he's good. He's a, a very good actor. And back to um, fucking... Bane. Not, not Bane. Bale. Bale. <laughs> Thank you. 
is Bale Bane. Eh. <laughs> he was a great Bruce. Yes. I felt he was a great Bruce yes. Wayne. But Batman, ugh. I mean, look at a uh, fucking animated series. He, uh, what's his name? Kevin Conroy. Yeah, I was like Kevin. Kevin I Conroy. Like Fage, but I knew that's yeah. the Marvel guy. <laughs> Kevin Conroy. He he was able to both portray Bruce and Batman perfectly in my yes. mind. And it is documented he is the first one to use different voices for yeah. each character, which I think is the best way to do it. Mm-hmm. It was a little darker, more serious. He, he had that soft voice for Bruce, where yeah. he's the nice guy. Yeah. Then he had the gruffer oh, yeah. Batman voice. Hands down, best. Mm-hmm. And even uh, what's his name in um, Arkham Origins, I can't think of his name because. But um, he, d- I think he really does a great Batman voice. His Bruce voice is. It's up there. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. But I, I give it a pass mainly because it's a gruffer, more pissed off Bruce. The uh, the guy who is in like war and was in Throne of Atlantis, son of Batman. Yeah. He he's got a good Batman yeah. voice. I like him too. And uh, was it Bruce Greenwood did one for Under the Red Hood. It was good. Yeah. And of course, James James Woods, Owl Man. Yes. 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 That is like, I mean, that was a good movie anyway, but that was a very good bright spot in that movie. It Fucking. Was, uh, he's so demented that serious, and like, he's so monotone demented. It's James Woods. <laughs> yes. It's per. And see, I'm not a big fan of his, but in that, he, he was very good. He, he was Owl Man. Yes. I'm not talking fucking. Mo- uh, not Marvel. Mo- the the, the. Night Owl, I think is what his name was, in uh, the Watchmen. Yes, or something like that. I, I, I can't remember. Uh, the Watchmen. I, I like that movie. I hated Owl Man, or whatever he was, Night Owl. Yeah. And I hated what they did with Rorschach. Because Rorschach was my favorite. I hated that they killed him. Yeah. That pissed me off. I mean, Rorschach was my favorite. But I liked... Comedian? I, I, yeah, he was cool. I liked that movie, and then um, as soon as I got to the end, I, I mean, apart from Warjack dying, I loved it, because it didn't have that happy ending where yeah. everything worked out good for everybody. It had the real ending, what's best for everything. It's yeah. Like Manhattan is blamed. It was... And as powerful as Manhattan is, I mean, I think he's more powerful than Superman in a way, I think. Oh, yeah. And he he is a fucking god. Manhattan's a god. You can't kill him. He can do anything. Yeah. And yet, I like him more than Superman. Yes. You know why? Because he's not a fucking Boy Scout. Yeah. And he has more emotional issues, I guess. Yeah. I mean, he just he just seems more what Superman could be. Yes. Should be. <laughs> but yeah. Ugh. So we've been going on for about... An hour now? <laughs> and we haven't really done anything. <laughs> no. But it, it gives you a little insight in what, what, how we think, what we like. And another thing is, yeah, we like comments and everything. And I will admit we're both perverted. Yeah. We're dirty-minded. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you watched South Park? Oh, yeah. Grew up with South Park? Oh, yeah. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of the reasons why we get along so much. <laughs> so anyway, um, if you guys have stuck around for, I don't know, an hour and however many minutes, thank you so much. We really appreciate everything you've done for us, which isn't really that much if you think about it, but it is for, to us. Yes. We've got Everyone's got to start somewhere, and this is where we're starting, and we hope it only gets bigger and better yeah. from here. And but we need you guys to do that. You know, the big YouTubers, you sit and watch them, and, you know, especially PewDie, he says, you know, I can't, I couldn't have got where I am today without you guys. It's it's true. You know, we can't go anywhere without you guys. Yeah, you're the ones hitting those like buttons, those comment buttons, those subscribe buttons. We're not making you do it. You're just like, hey, I like this guy. Click. <laughs> yes. And we really appreciate it. And we want to, just like 
computer keeps going on. We want to stay in contact with you. We want to stay in touch with you. We want to, you know, have a relationship. Yes. And in doing that, I hope you guys did stay around for this because we're hoping Saturday, probably evening time. Yeah. Because uh, uh, we got jobs. <laughs> I got a job. I, I, I work with you. Shut up! I'm off that day, though. <laughs> Okay, yes, we work together, but that's as much as you're going to get out of well, not personal. Gonna wear, we well, yeah, personal life. Yeah. Um, Other than I have a girlfriend. Sorry, ladies. Yeah, he's taken, but I'm not. <laughs> I know I'm probably going to get shot down for that. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Oh, there he goes. Well, anyway, hoping uh, if you did stick around, blah, blah, blah. Saturday. Saturday, we're playing on Cards Against Humanity. I'm going to. I'll host the whole. I guess uh, the game. server or whatever, and I'll set it to about seven people. Sounds good. Uh, we don't want too little, but we don't want too many. Yeah, seven or eight is usually what we play. So. Yeah, I like seven just because it's a high number. <laughs> well, anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set it up. I'll. Post the exact time. I'll probably just like when I come home from work, like, hey guys, I'm setting it up right now. So you want to pay attention Saturday evening. Definitely. And we're going to let you guys come in and play. But we have, have to have two requirements. One, you need to have the mic. Enough said. We want to talk with you. Yeah. And the second requirement... At the very least, if you don't have a mic, at least you got to be willing to type in questions and stuff. And you yeah. got to interact. I mean, we really want to be, you know, connected with you guys. Mm -hmm. And um, the second thing is... What's the second thing? I don't know. I don't know where you're going with this. I don't know where I'm going with it either anymore. But um, you definitely... We really want you to have a mic... And of course, I'll leave the in the description. I'll leave the whole dot com website where it's at. And you see, you definitely, of course, need a computer. I mean, I don't know how you guys are watching this without a computer, but maybe on the phone, probably. But um, what was the other thing? Oh, I can't remember what it was. I kept saying this to me. You say they need to have two things. They need to have two things. I know I keep saying you guys need to, but you kind of do. We. We, we want to talk with you guys and blah, blah, blah. But again, have a mic and you will be recorded. We will record this and we will post it up and we'll even feature your channels or whatever and whatnot and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know if there's anything else that needs to be said. I'll, put, I'll like, as soon as I get home, I'll be like, upload a quick uh, YouTube video or whatever. Mm -hmm. And say, hey, starting right now, we're on Cards Against Humanity. So, join now. And it'll be Mr. J, you know, Mr. Spilled Out, underscore J. And he'll probably be waiting there with me. Oh, yeah. And until we get a decent amount of people, which is, uh, again... Yeah, usually we don't start till like, we have four or five. Four so. or five, yeah. And we won't start till then, so, yeah. Come in at your join and have a few laughs. Yeah. And we, we want to keep this up like every month or whatever. Um, question and answers and we'll say, hey, we'll play with you guys when we got time. Like mostly the weekends I think is probably the best time. Yeah. Because I think during the week we'll be recording other games. Yeah. So anyway, again, thank you guys so much. Oh, we couldn't... Another quick thing right before we end it. I know... I, I know it, it, it's it's probably good for you guys, you know, to sit and watch the videos. And I know there's a lot of YouTubers, especially Let's Players and stuff that I've watched that they record, like, they record a little bit every day. A lot of the stuff we record and put up, we record it all in big chunks. Yeah. We get bigger and we have the time to do it every day. We can interact with you more. Whereas, you know, especially like with the Pokemon Nuzlocke we're getting ready to do here soon, you know... We would love your input on that, like nicknames for Pokemon, you know, or our name, or rival name, whatever. But we want to interact, but we can't do that right now. We've got limited space where we can both meet up at the same time, and so we have to record in big chunks. But we want to get to where we can record a little bit, 
get your input on it so then like the next day or whatever we can come in and okay this is what they're saying so we can go on from here and on that note on the whole big chunk note i've been given you know critiques or whatever that i need to you know break it down a little more break it down more it's like you know more snippets of the episode or whatever and it's like you know what i don't want to take away the experience yeah i mean i can understand that for like five nights at freddy's i mean some of them i do think my episodes are a little too long <laughs> but like slenderman and dungeons i mean we're getting into it and we kind of want you guys to get into it too so that's yeah. kind of my whole idea i'm trying to figure out a better time system like maybe even shorten it to down to maybe eight minutes or so so you guys are still you know with us yeah. till the end so, <laughs> and every now and then, of course, there's going to be a cat in here pestering us. And you probably heard me yelling at him a few times. <laughs> but anyway, let's see. Saturday night, after I get off work, I'll send a, you know, YouTube video, blah, 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 here, there, that, blah, blah, blah. Bring yourself, bring your mic, bring your laughs. Bring, bring your, your humor. humor. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> what? And again, thank you guys so much. We can't do this without you. And as much as possible, like, comment, subscribe. And until then, we'll see you next episode. Bye. Bye.